Hey, good morning. Welcome to this week's video. My name's Emma. Stick around for hauls and vlogs. You can hear shit talking in the background. It's the children and the husband. I am on holiday. I've been around a pool all day. I haven't showered since last night and I think we can all tell. So if we all embrace it and maybe pretend I don't look like this, I would really appreciate it. So um, I'm currently on holiday in Lanzarote. You will have seen a come pack with me and now we're here. And what I'm gonna do is this video will be a pack with me and then I think I will do a day out that we're gonna have and probably show you a little bit around the hotel but then do like a full nice day out. We're planning to, on Saturday, go to a little market in Lanzarote. Um, by Marina and then maybe go to Playa Blanca. Playa Blanca? Why does that sound like a song? <laughs> anyway, that's the plan. So I think I'll probably do those two things and maybe take you into a supermarket because I know you love looking in supermarkets in different parts of the world. So I'll do that. So, uh, we arrived yesterday afternoon and we have been here for 24 hours now and I thought I'd do a room tour with a difference. This is a room tour with a difference because we have been in the room, so you can see how we lay it out, how we sort it. It's not perfect and pristine like those ones where you just walk in and go, like, look at the room. So let's do a little room tour. And then I desperately, I use the, do you remember I was talking about the, um, the spray for your part in? It's fine, but it, if you want very greasy hair, as we can see, and I'm wondering, how it's gonna wash out, but right, let's do a little room tour. The aircon is on, so if you hear like a noise, it is the aircon. So we first come in and we have a bathroom. So there's two sinks, we've got a Stephen side and an Emma side, and the kids just use whatever. We always, I'm sure as you do, put toothbrush, uh, toothpaste and toothbrushes in a cup, but you get lots of goodies with this like soap, and but we, we don't need to use them. Just a shower with the towels. It came with dressing gowns, two dressing gowns, which the kids have been using. A bidet, which we haven't been using, but I did bring a washing basket. We got one. So we have been using this and we can just chuck our washing in. It's just so nice. I am a loser, but I don't care. Uh, this is where I put the bag on, which has got all the, you know, paracetamol and stuff and the toiletries in there. And then here we have just put our cases and um, masks, some medicine just in case people are poorly, our suntan lotion. This is where I do my makeup when I put makeup on, obviously, which is not today. I think we can all tell. Uh, and straighteners. And then we've got, it's two double beds and we are together uh, all in one room. So we've got me, Stephen, Erin, Ethan, all together. There are plug sockets on these little things and drawers. So I've got my books, Erin's tablet's charged at the moment. But here I'll charge my phone, I've got my inhaler and my Kindle. And on the other side, oh no, that's, yeah, that's Erin's. Ethan's charging his tablet. We have got a little room for a case here and this is where we keep in the bags. And these are the towels that you need for the pool. So we will keep them here. Over here is like a little tea station. I did bring my own tea bags because I am a nerd and no shame in my game. We've got some bottles of water here or all our little plugs that we need. There is a chair here, but it's gone outside. I tried to keep the shoes under control, but people are now just shoving them anywhere. So this at the moment is where shoes are living. Uh, there's just a little chair and a table. And outside is a balcony. The children and Stephen are playing cards as we what game are you playing, guys? What's it called, Stephen? Chase the Ace. Stop the bus. Ch oh, Chase the Ace, but no, Erin is called it Stop the Bus. Oh, somebody's, um, did they pick those pyjama bottoms up off the floor? They're shoved in a corner. Morning. Yeah, pick them up now then, because that's, you've got to wear them. They're literally just shoved in a corner, that's weird. Um, and then this is the view. How nice and beautiful and how lucky am I that this is our view and at night um I'm gonna taste something funny I'm not sure if you can see it so people have took like pale rocks and made like so from up here you can read things this is like Mia or 
whatever, like happy 18th Julie, somebody has just put bum flap right in front of that. It's not us. So let me just say it just says bum flap, which is making a smile. So here we go. There's the hotel here. They're playing. That is pretty much it. There has a, there's a fridge. Uh, there's aircon. Um, and that's about it, really. They did give us. When we arrived, like, there was a bottle of pink bubbly, which was carver, pink carver. That made it sound like it was fancy champagne. But there's a little fridge with waters and stuff in, so we can put some stuff in there. So, there you go. so there we go. A little tour. I will leave the details to the hotel below. We paid to come. It was one that my mum and dad recommended. They'd been here before. Very nice. There's entertainment on during the day. We've just today we went to the marina and then we spent all day around the pool and and Ethan just was like, tonight can we just stay in the room and play cards? And we were like, yeah. So that's what we're doing. We bought some fun Harry bows from um, the supermarket earlier. So we're gonna have Harry bows, showers, after sun, and just general nice family time. You can see, just there. <laughs> How nice is that? Stephen just grimaced because he's got no top on, but I don't think you can see. Just there. So I will see you in the next clip, and it will be a nice little poot around the market, um, and into Playa Blanca, and I'll take you into some shops. Playa Blanca, Playa Blanca. Let me know if you are Spanish. Let me know. I did have somebody message me on. Uh, Instagram saying that they live in London. What it? How exciting is that? Right, I'm waffling. Love you. See you in the next clip. Bye. Good morning. My hair is wild. We need to embrace it. I slept on it last night. We were supposed to have a pool day today. We didn't because it's a bit cloudy. Um, so about my hair. Imagine it being Emma's hair, wild and free. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, so um, today we are going to play a Blanca. Uh, which we weren't supposed to do until tomorrow. You don't need to know all this information, but I'm going to take you. We're going to have a little look around the shops. Yeah, it's cloudy today till this afternoon, so we're going to go um, into Playa Blanca and I'm going to have a little look around the shops, have a little mooch around, have a drink, have an ice cream, and then this afternoon come back and we will go in the pool. Um, so this is the hotel we are at here. It's Sandoff, Sandoff. Papageo, I'll leave a link below. Um, you can get a free shuttle bus, but it only runs like twice a day. Or it was six euros for us to get the bus, we'd have to walk down to get the bus, or seven euros for a taxi, and we were just like, we'll just get a taxi. At the moment, you do still need a face mask on public transport, so I've got those in my bag. Um, yeah, it is a bit cloudy, but it's that weird, you know? Can you, you know, it's like hazy, so it's still a bit weird on my eyes. Uh, also, yesterday, I broke my sunglasses. So, if you're following on my Instagram, you know, forgot my belts, only bought one pair of shoes, brown ones, and also uh, broke my sunglasses yesterday. So <laughs> I'm going to try and look for some cheapy sunglasses today. I did, however, purchase this bag. I feel like Stephen's whistling at me from somewhere, but I did purchase this bag, which I like a lot. Uh, so I'm going to look for some cheapy sunglasses. We'll both go to the supermarket, I'm sure and we will just take you around with us. I have no idea how long we're going to have to wait for a taxi, but it's quite pleasant, it's not too warm. Um, yes. Right, let's go and have a little mooch around somewhere I've never been before. I'm very excited. So we've arrived and we are straight. Oh, that's a cute one. We're straight at the bracelets. How about this? Um, I don't think they're for ankles though. Oh. It's all, let me know if you used to get this kind of stuff when you were... A little because I certainly did. So Erin's she's currently got she bought this one and she's got another ankle one but she's looking for a different one. So she's having a little look here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go have a look in the shop because I reckon there's stuff we could get for the tiki bar in here you know. Go have a little mooch around. Oh we found a cute little shop which is a bit like tiger it's got like all like maybe smiggle slash tiger. It's got cute notepads um oh my gosh it's got a lot of nice Stationery. A lot of nice stationery and some hats and bits and bobs. Um, when it gets a bit sunnier, we'll go by the beach and I'll show you stuff that's not just shops, my friends. However, I know you lot 
like the shops. These are all lovely, aren't they? To do this. There's some nice stationery, Erin. Yeah. Yeah, look at all these little pads. Really cute. This is such a sweet shop. Look at all the little mugs and the little stuff you to put on the top. This is a really sweet little place. I like that. Stephen's making himself comfortable on the massage chair. <laughs> Right, should we go and try and find floaties for the pool? That's what we need to find, I think. Some floaties somewhere. So we've come down at just before 10. Things are just starting to open. Um, it's quite quiet here. I, I imagine it's quite busy in a night time. If we come in a night time, you might have seen it on my Insta stories, but I don't know if we'll... There's a lot of shops with the designer stuff. Unsure if they're the real things. Hang on, this is what... Well, my girl just bought a real... Designer bag. bag for 12 euros. Real. Real. Woo. Um, <laughs> and this one has a shark's tooth necklace. Look at that. Whoa. Classic Spanish holiday, guys. Here we go. We are at like a marina thing. Um, Erin and I may go to a like handmade market thing tomorrow in the morning. We think that's our plan and that's a beautiful marina by where we're staying so I'll take you there tomorrow but here we are as you can see it's quite cloudy but oh my gosh guys I've got a factor 50 on my face and it feels like I've dipped my face in lard I feel oh so muggy and gross and just grotty um, I need to wash it I don't think my hair's all sticking to it oh my god it's too much it's too much so I might try a different factor tomorrow um, maybe I put too much on I don't know but you know you just feel I feel like I've dipped my head in a bucket full of get off there munch Ethan get off there they're in my bag don't worry I feel like I've dipped my head in a, a full bucket of lard and really rubbed it in so um, yeah I'm not gonna use that one tomorrow I don't think I'll use a different one so anyway that's all you caught up with my grubby soggy muggy face lovely you can get a boat, and we presume it's that boat, you can get a boat to Fuerteventura as well for the day. Which might be quite a nice little thing to do. And um, it started to drizzle a little bit, which is I'm thankful for. Because you know, when it's muggy, kids are trying to find an inflatable, which is what we seem to spend most of our time doing. It's so nice here. Just reminds me of vintage holidays with my mother and my father. Uh, little Spanish trips we used to do when I was younger very nice and relaxing it's much kind of busier down here and a bit on the night it's kicking lots of like bars and restaurants we just want to go for a, a little coca-cola i think maybe a cheeky fanta naranja fanta limon let me know if you ever had that on holiday because i guarantee you will have oh let's go and stand at the end here and i guess we get a nice picture guys yeah oh always keen Keen bean for the photo. Ah, look at ya! Do his pose, strike a pose, go. Very good. <laughs> We're very excited. We've come here. I don't know if you can see, I'm scared. Uh, there are loads of big, massive, massive crabs. Oh, Stephen just pretended to push me in. Ha 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 ha. There's loads of big crabs everywhere. We're thrilled. We're thrilled. Oh, can you see them, Erin? There's loads over There's loads, yeah. Those two red ones. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Stephen. Like nobody else cares and we're like, look at the crabs! Look at the crabs! <laughs> Yay, I have replaced my broken sunglasses. Um, these are like nine pounds. I like them a lot. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know we always have this running joke that Stephen likes to go to Irish bars. Because Stephen is Irish. Stephen's mum and dad are Irish. Um, Stephen's Irish. And the name Conway is an Irish name. Anyway, beside the point. Um, we found an Irish bar, so we are here. I have got a little a drinky pot. Stephen's having um, a little drink as well. He doesn't like Guinness. Whenever I say over at the uh, people are like, oh, where's his Guinness? He doesn't like Guinness. Call himself an Irish man. Um, so yeah, we're kind of hiding here for a little bit from the sun, and then I think we're going to get the... Um, we could walk back to our hotel from here, it's 45 minutes. I'm not even sure if you can hear me, it's 45 minutes. It's quite hot. 
so we might get a taxi we'll see but when I get out of here I'll show you um, the beach it's really nice here uh, so yeah it's nice it's nice if you're thinking like a nice kind of cheesy family holiday also I will say the price is here compared to Florida can you hear any of this <laughs> The price is here compared to Florida, it's so much cheaper. It really is so much, so much, so much cheaper. Erin um, is obsessed with ladies. They're just walkers. These are walkers. These are just walkers. She's obsessed, she's got a couple of Right, I'll uh, show you the beach. Here you go, guys. There's the beach. Sorry, this is rubbish. She's just got a roof. But there's the beach, there's the marina that we're about a 20 minute walk from. We're going to get a taxi because I think it would be too far. But Erin um, and I still intend on going to the market so we will take you to the marina. We found a Burger King, we're not eating a Burger King. <laughs> Steve was just like, there's a Burger King. Ethan, show your little thing you got. So Ethan spent, you put a euro in and you pass it to me Munchkin. You put a euro in. And he kept trying to get this and trying to get this and trying to get this. And then the man just got it out for him. So nice. So that's good for you. Hang on, everyone wants me to show her. Um, We've got matching bracelets. And, and then, then this from Ines. And her friend Ines made of that. So. And did you make this one? Yeah, and then that's from the one. Oh, I've got to sneeze. Hang on, bye. Hello, my beautiful friends. It is just after nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. And my girl and I are going to walk to a um, handmade like market see what's there spend an hour or so there and then come back the boys are going to spend the morning around the pool Stephen's got some prime location some beds so when I get out I'll show you the sea and I'll show you where we're going to walk to it's a bit of a walk isn't it it's about it's 20 minutes but the way I walk it that'll be about <laughs> half an hour so I've got not a scrap of makeup on. I've shoved my hair back because I've been putting makeup on and I woke up this morning with those are spots. Anyway, here is the sea. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk all the way down there, all the way up there, and then round the corner. Um, it's quite warm already, but there is a nice breeze. Obviously, as you can see, this is not a sandy beach, but this is where all the people write all the letters. We want to write it, don't we? I don't know what we're going to write. But yeah, this might be a bit windy on here. So down there, all the way up there, and then it's just around the corner, isn't it? So let's go. I will visit you back when we get to the top and show you the view. Um, but we've walked from there here. We'll go around the corner. Um, the water's so clear here, isn't it, Erin? Bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so look, but look, I was gonna fly. That wasn't a seagull, was it? What the heck was that? I don't know what that was. Let's go with an American eagle. I know it wasn't before you comment. Hello, my love. So we've come to the market. We've sat in a little shelter a bit, and whilst I'm talking, I'll put some clips over. It's a beautiful market. It's all around the marina. There's all sorts of things on. There's like kind of I don't I don't want to say shabby chic. What do I mean? Like traditional. Spanish knickknacks like bracelets and uh, bags and uh, bracelets. Did I say bracelets twice? Soaks. I love bracelets so much. I said it twice. She's got her bracelets there. There's some beautiful necklaces, but then there's also like places selling like fake designer handbags. There's places selling. Um, we've got Erin a hat because she needs a hat for the pool that she, we don't mind getting wet, and she loves to show you hat. She doesn't want to get that hat wet, so I've just got this for seven euros. But when we first came in the market, the other place it was more expensive, wasn't it? We were, I mean, this is not a real hat, but for like six quid, I don't mind that getting wrecked in the pool. And we can take it home, and that can be like a pool hat. So it's really nice. It's really nice around the marina here. It's really pretty. It's quite difficult to film because there's loads and loads of people. So I just thought I'd insert a few clips, and then we'll go to the supermarket. I think. What do you think? Yeah. I'm a bit warm now. So I might have to get an eye from Lolly. But yeah, it is very pretty here. And when we came down, we were a bit like, oh my gosh, there's nothing here. And then there's loads. But we both, Erin's thinking of a bracelet she really wants. And I'm thinking of a necklace that I really want. 
So, because um, you know I always wear the same necklace day in, day out, so I might go back and get that. We are now in Hyperdino, um, which seems to be like the big, well, I don't know, it's like a kind of spa maybe, do you think, Erin? We're going to go and get some crisps. We've got yeah. lots of the fun. Fanta Limon, show it. This is what the people want. This is what we drink. And we need to go and get some snacks as well, don't we? Yeah. yeah. We have all the greats. We've got the tackies. Do we do tackies in England? Unsure, let me know. Um, we've got the Lay's. Where are the Lay's gone there? But Erin likes a specific one and they're somewhere else in the store because we came the other day. So lots of fun, nice little snacky wackies. And we've got a Fanta Limon. I think we might get an ice doll as well and walk back. We have secured the Lay's, which Erin believes to be the best crisps in the history of the universe. So, if you're going to a Spanish country, get these, and if you've been, let me know if you've ever had them. Also, we always have lots of fun, different Harry bows when you go abroad, and I think these were there when we went to Iceland as well, so we'll pick up some different types of um, Harry bow. And anybody remember these? from back in the day. You used to get them in the middle. You'd eat them all and that would be the, like the main sweet when you went on holiday. Also superior ice bowl choices. We like a contiki to be eaten quick before it drivels down your arm. It went all over Ethan's shoes. So I'm gonna get myself one of these as well. You're like Emma. You're not in Lanzarote. You're in your office and it's still a bit of a mess. Yeah, we came back yesterday and I realised I hadn't finished the vlog. I think I've caught a teeny... Oh, there's definitely a little bit of a tan. A teeny bit of a tan. So that's good. We had a beautiful holiday. I did share quite a lot over on Instagram and Insta stories. Um, sorry I didn't vlog too much, but the plan was to kind of just do like a little, a little snippet. Um, and then when we go to... Um, our next Disney trip I'll do like the proper holiday vlogs we just wanted a nice chill time so I thought I'd show you just a couple of bits that I picked up when I was in Lanzarote and also um, I had some requests to talk about my Kindle and the books I read so some book rec recommendations because I actually read a books I managed to read three books I can't tell you the last time I read uh, a book let alone three books around the pool so just a few bits and bobs that I got you will have um maybe seen on my instagram i picked up this print we've got a disney we've got a frame in our um laundry room downstairs with a like mary poppins print but i prefer that so i might swap it out i just really liked it it was such a fab like um disney like knickknack shop there with all harry potter stuff and all sorts of bits and bobs there i picked up these um pens which i thought were really cute for my office they were like mickey style pens um These Haribo, Haribo fa Favoritos. I don't know why I did that in an Italian accent because we went to Spain. <laughs> they are just red and white sweets and they're gonna stay in my office and they're gonna be a little treat and they were one euro. Hey, treat yourself as um, Adam and Gary would say. We went to like a little shop, it was a bit like Tiger. I'm not sure if I featured it in the vlog, I can't remember and it was an offer that you could get a certain amount of things for like eight pound and i wanted this for our um tiki bar outside i thought that would be really really cool so i got that and it said everyone loves a surfer girl i mean when you think of surfer girls you naturally think of me think of a surfer girl emma but i thought that'd be fun for the bar um and also uh i got this for the bar as well a little parrot bottle opener which I thought was really cute as well there's a lot of tiki bar stuff Stephen got me this again surfer girl mate oh my god you can Margo could actually surf on this but this will go for the tiki bar as well we're actually having um Stephen's family come over not this weekend the weekend after so we're gonna get the tiki bar up and um run in and show them i'm not sure what they'll think <laughs> i don't think he's told them about it they'll turn up and they'll be like you married a crazy person and i'll be like yes but it's too late now i've been with him for 19 years i also got this and i don't know how we put this together i'll show you when it's up it's like a parrot 
you will definitely you cannot see it it's a parrot like spinner thing again tiki bar all the stuff i got was for the tiki bar i had a lot of good tiki bar tasks and then i got this um and i would love to have got all the big ones and everything but it's just too expensive so i just got that as well which i thought was quite good it reminded me of trader sam they have all those kind of things so just like tiki bar tap really uh and i will probably get all that going at the weekend and um tomorrow i've got I've got the kiddos it's hot summer isn't it so we're back full, full swing emma's having to entertain the children by herself it's going to be great so yeah just some knickknacks and also the kindle that i eventually went for i don't think i mentioned it on here but it was the paper white one um they sell them on amazon Stephen picked it up for me from they also sell them in argus but we didn't get it from argus or amazon he went to like i'm gonna say curries but i don't think the shop curries exists anymore but do you know what i mean like could be electrical anyway you get them anywhere you can get them anywhere no, don't worry about it it's going a bit dark so it's the paper white one i really enjoy I, I just i just think it's brilliant the battery lasts ages um you can what, read it at night really easily i bought a case together it's so when you close it it turns it off because otherwise it is a little bit a little bit they are a bit tricky to like turn on and off they're they're not quite as um um not advanced but then i don't know they they are quite tricky to, so you you really do need a case and the, but i loved it so if you were looking for, if you're in the market for Kindle, I thought this is brilliant. Please leave me any Kindle suggestions below. I do have Prime Kindle Unlimited for like three months. Um, so I can read some books from that. But the three books I read on holiday were I read um Colleen Hoover. It ends with us, which is on the stair. That's what I was looking, because I'm gonna give it on to my sister. And that was a physical book. Brilliant loved it bit of a trigger warning you might want to check what the book's about because it does deal with some heavy stuff that i wouldn't want to you know upset any of you but loved that i also and i know i'm far behind and i know these are really popular books and you're like Emma, we read these books two years ago what are you doing but i also read the seven husbands of evelyn boyd is it that was on here i can look and being very unusual seven husbands of evelyn hugo loved it that is by um taylor jenkins reed i really 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 enjoyed it i've got the hard copy that i got from the um second hand bookshop of the um sick my brain's gone the sick the daisy one you know what i mean so i'm going to read that also the flat share by beth o'leary i read that loved that as well i loved i loved them and then on here i've got still to read i've got another colleen hoover one which i think was a that was from kindle limited i've got a few but i might actually um get some more beth o'leary books i just thought they were brilliant they were all great 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 reads so if you can recommend me any stuff that is kind of like i like i do quite like chiclet stuff um, I like a nice love story. Not so interested in murder or thrill, you know, a little bit of thrill, but, you know, I, I like a good chiclet. I like a boy meets girl. He turns out to be horrible. She meets another boy. She doesn't really like it, but they get together in the end. That kind of story. Send them my mail. Right, my love. Um, yes, yeah, so sorry this is a bit of a different kind of video, a bit of a mismatch, but I will be back in another few days for another video where knee deep in summer fun um i might it might be like an organization um prepping for back to school because actually um my two they're going to be doing like a theater class and like a football class so i think that day i'm going to really get get all the bits and bobs ready for school so i'll bring you along with that anyway i love you